Let's see how we can set up Windows Mobile App Static Analysis with Mobile Surf. So if you navigate through the documentation section, you can see a wiki link under running Mobile Surf that points to Windows App Static Analysis. If you are using a Linux or Mac machine, you need to have a separate Windows VM where we can perform the static analysis. This is required because the tools that we use for static analysis runs only on Windows. So these are the steps to configure a Windows VM. You need to install Python 3. So let's fire up a VM. So I already have a VM here, which is Windows 7 64-bit service pack 1. Let's install Python 3.5.2. You can add Python 3.5 to path and install it. So once Python 3 is installed successfully, we need to install the RSA module. So let's fire up a command prompt and install RSA module Python minus m pip install RSA we have to make sure that Python binary points to Python 3 binary itself so once we install RSA module we need to download setup.py script and run it let's download it and run it on the Windows VM Let's run the file. You can see that the setup script is now configuring the environment. So if you see errors like this, the requested security protocol is not supported. That means you don't have .NET 4.6 installed. So you need to install .NET 4.6. So once you install .NET Framework 4.6, you can run the setup script again. Let's go to command prompt. Let's run the setup script again. This is a semi-automated setup script because of the license policies of these tools. Uh, some tools you have to actually manually install them. So Binscop is one such tool. Um, you need to manually install once the installer pop up. Now the setup script will generate an RSA key pair. You need to keep the private key with MobSF. You can keep that under MobSF directory. So let's go ahead and uh, copy this file. Uh, I 
it's available under C tools, C mobile sub tools, and then the key pair. So you have to copy the private key. can go to mobile self directory inside mobile security framework and you can paste it there yeah now let's come back and press any key and done okay the server is up and running just allow access to the server Now all you need is the IP of this Windows VM. Let's take another command prompt and try ipconfig. So the IP is 172.16.244.128. So we need to provide this IP to MobSF so that MobSF can communicate with this Windows VM. Let's copy this IP and let's go to MobSF settings.py let's search for windows and you will find windows vm ip settings it's actually it's by default configured on none you can provide the ip here that is 172.16.244.128 which is the ip of the windows VM. that's all you need so from the MobSF side you need to keep the private key under mobile sub directory and you need to provide the IP of the Windows VM. And in the Windows VM, you need to run the setup.py so that you can configure the static analysis environment. So the script automatically installs it to the startup directory. So the next time you actually turn off and turn on this VM, it will automatically start the server. You don't have to run the setup.py or anything else uh, in case if you want to you know kill this while running and even you want to restart it again instead of running setup.py go to c drive under mob sf and under the tools you can run rpc underscore client.py so if you if you run setup.py again it will work fine but it will actually change the RSA key pair you will have to again copy and paste the private key from the VM to mobile sub directory please keep that in mind okay now we are ready to go the server is running at port 8000 let's run mobile sub So mobile security framework is running now let's go to the web gui uh, let's upload an apex file which is a windows mobile app executable so while it's uploading you can see that it says windows vm configure uploading the sample running winskin so if you go back to the vm you can see that it's actually receiving some connections the RSA challenge is successfully verified and it started analyzing the Apex file let's wait for the analysis to complete and meanwhile you can track the status over here so if you haven't properly configured it instead of Windows VM configured it will say that the VM is not properly configured please configure it Let's wait for the analysis to complete. Looks like the analysis is complete. Let's go to the web GUI and you can see the result of the Windows app static analysis. Uh, you can see the binary analysis. Uh, there were no results from Binskin the files inside the apex package 
the strings etc so this is one of the early look into the windows app static analysis lots of other features are actually under development so this is how you configure windows mobile app static analysis for mobile using a windows vm thanks for watching